Hey guys, welcome back to another brand new video. Today video I will be talking about 20 frequently asked questions that said yes the real set have been posed have been asked okay so this is his answer for um, the 20 FAQ frequently asked question that people have been asking him so first thing what did why did you sell Grisopia in 2017 so his answer is I can only speak for myself for all these answers but after four years Grisopia had gotten too big too many players and not something I'd ever consider a problem before it happened. While we were able to hire great customer support folks, it was only it was still only Hamumu and myself developing and running the game. We were stretched to thin when you're talking when when you're taking money for a product. You have a responsibility. The legal responsibility grows proportionally to your player's count. And how much they are spending. Too much cash was spent for us was being spent for us to claim ignorance if something went wrong. What if a backup failed? What if we screwed sc screwed up on COPPA compliance? The excuse of hey we're just two people wouldn't cut it anymore. The pressure builds after the four years of running Good Sophia. I started to have regular nightmares, usually involving backups failing during a rollback or other server problems. In the end, selling the game meant it it could continue to see new features and grow, without us having to become bosses and having em employees and all that things and all that things we never wanted. We got to use the profit from the sale to remain small and happy in in this that can work on what we want when we want in my experience that's extremely rare you get the chance like that so I feel really lucky it worked out would you and the second question is would you ever come and work on the game as a real dev no I assuming I was ever asked I couldn't accept the job working on an, an, an MMO is not something you can do part-time you have to eat and breathe it and get woken up by al alarms alarms at 3 a.m. when something breaks my life has changed now less stress and very different kind kinds of challenges including running a ca cafe and hotel with Akiko hotel um, it's only one room but we are officially licensed as both a restaurant and hostel and hotel third question is Gritopia is being ruined okay that's not really a question but it's something people say to me sometimes especially when the servers down people tend to remember the positive of history rather than the negatives but if you go back to the forums there was no time after the first year we ran the game there were not Gritopia is ruined and dying now threats being made the life of this kind of game is all about change, breaking, fixing, adding, and very little removing. The bigger the the bigger the change or ad addition, the greater the risk. The more systems piled on the t on top of each other, it is increasingly challenging. It is to keep all running smoothly. I have a lot of sympathy for the developers as I know their pain. I hope they succeed and the games runs forever. But there, I but there isn't really any kind of comment I can make on this kind of thing, especially since I don't play much or or know what the issues are. If the game isn't for you, try something else for a while. It's get perfectly normal and okay to get tired of a game and bounce around. And then the next question is, I was banned for no reason. Please help me by contacting Ubisoft. Sorry, I and his response is sorry, I can. I don't have access to the locks or systems or support system. I'm the wrong and I'm the wrong person to ask. It would be really awkward if I was trying to do any kind of modding while not actually on the support team. But you need to go to through 
through the normal Gritopia help channel and he leave a link there. And the next question is, do you still play Gritopia? Can you sign my board, take a selfie with me in game? This is kind of complicated to answer. Currently, his, okay, my, my set account remains completely locked even for himself, okay? Unless I special, splash, specif, specif, Specifically, <laughs> I don't know. Specifically, ask for it to be unlocked for the uh, period. I like it this way. The reason for this are security. It is very bad if this account gets hacked. Performance: if people see me now, see me, see I'm online. They all message me at once. Can cause problems. And also something I call the room, the rumor wildfire. Sometimes a rumor starts that. A hacker is using my account and mods and support gets flooded with emails about this emergency so it's important that they know in advance when I'll be online so in the end I almost never ask my account be unlocked because it is it has it's a hassle for everybody and I don't want to cause any trouble Ubisoft has been very cool about it but I, f I still feel bad I tried using other another account but meh it's just not the same it's pretty rare that I lock in these days for not anything other than play appreciation week for reasons stated below uh, above however if if I'm online in the game I will make every eff effort to accommodate those things those kind of requests I use Argo a lot no one of the condition of the cell was nobody would ever pretend to be us so if you ever see Ad, Seth or Hamumu talking to you it's really us <laughs> and the next question is are you annoyed that every tweet or video you make has Grootopia related comments and the question on, on it the truth is I'm really not it's proof that we made a big impact in people's life I hope nobody forgets our work on on all scoot group yeah and I appreciate those players because without them I still likely still be sweating over contract works instead of enjoying the freedom I do now I do feel bad if someone I replied to, to on Twitter gets a lot of Gritopia related stuff they didn't want though they probably don't even know what Gritopia is and if I reply it make worse so tweeting at me or emailing directly is the best way to go for Gritopia related question that isn't answered here. Next one is, will you give me diamond locks and make me a mod so I can stop casting news? I mean, <laughs> and he answered, no I can't. I'm not a Gritopia moderator or developer anymore. I'm just a player like you. By the way, my own kid will definitely ask developers of Fortnite for V-Bucks and skins before even saying hello. So I totally understand why youngers play ask me that question. I can't ever actually say yes though. <coughs> I'm very sorry. Next one, will you make another MMO? No plans right now. Can you try to buy back Grotopia? No, I mean, even if it was for sale and I could afford it, I don't want to run it again for the reasons mentioned above. Maybe in 20 years, ask me again though. I mean, 20 years of Gertopia and set come back and I, I will be very very happy. Will you be in Gertopia during Play Appreciation Week 2020 whenever that is? Yep. What oh, that is? Yep. Yep, I'll be there and using Argo like a madman so feel free to message me if you see me. And then there is it. Thank you very much for watching this video. I already read the whole um, frequently asked question post by Seth. Um, Seth, if you're watching this, um, yeah, thank you very much for being such a great developer um, until 2017. Like, it's a ro long road. And yes, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. My voice is um, cracking right now. I have, um, I'm not sure why. But yeah, I'm going to take a sip of water. And yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.